what is up fishing fam model fishing here we're gonna make some structures because now's the perfect time to get structures built put out into the ponds and so that way when the water gets warmer especially here in florida the bass have somewhere to hide they don't go super deep into the pond they'll stay shallow if you build them structure basically everything i got i got for free i went to job site and talked to a few guys i actually work in construction but i talked to a few guys they had a bunch of scraps they're gonna toss away um they gave them to me we're gonna go over here i'll show you all the stuff and then uh do a quick little video we'll put one of them together we'll mix up some uh cement and stuff so here we go so first you know i got some lumber we got lots of little pvc there big rings I cut them down. They're probably about three to four foot long. So we got a ton of those. We got some bigger PVC. I was gonna make a tree out of it, but I changed my mind, decided to just drill holes in it and then um, it'll sink. So that way there'll be some of these straight tubes. Uh, I'm gonna take all these little plastic pieces, PVCs out. Got us a bucket that was in the dumpster. Some two by fours, which are already put together. These are actually uh, two by sixes put together. And all I'm gonna do, screw them. We're gonna have a nice little box, set it down on some cardboard, mix up some mud, which I got some mud off of a job site, it had big chunks, hard chunks in it. Um, it's ruined, you can't use it for what it's intended for. So we're just going to mix up some in the bucket. We've got a bucket of water. And um, to mix it, just a painter mixer. You can put it in a cordless drill like this, and it just makes it easier to mix up the mud real quick. And then we're going to pour it into this box, and then I'm going to stick the tubes down inside of it. So here we go. You got some? Screws doesn't have to be perfectly flush and straight, the cement will form up to it. There we go. Get the box. Lay it out. Next, we're gonna mix up some mortar. All right, guys. What I like to do when I mix my cement or mortar up, put a little bit of water down in the bottom. All right, guys, we got our mortar with a consistency of pudding. Um, probably should use the bigger bucket, done more. I'm probably gonna have to make a second bucket, but here we go. Kind of like consistency of frosting. You want a little stiff. Um, you don't have to, but if you want it to dry, set up quicker and bond. I use bond, you can use bonding agent. I actually went and bought some of that. So here we go. All right, guys, so it's we got the cement in the actual container. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the rods in. Um, there's a lot of cement, it's very heavy. 
So I'm gonna do a couple different sizes. I'm gonna try one this size and see what it looks like and then I'm gonna make a few more. You can make whatever, however you want. You could actually bevel the ends and kind of make it so the ends are sloped instead of square. Um, I actually might grind on that a little bit with a grinder and, and smooth it out. So, but here we go. I'm gonna start sticking tubes in. The ones I got are red, clear, white, and blue. So I'm just going to start st sticking pipes in, cement, as it sets up and gets stiffer I might have to stick a few more pieces in here and there. This is my first time doing this. Um, I see you can just go buy these structures for like $200, $300, even some places have it for like $100. Um, that's fine if you got that kind of money. Um, fishing on a budget, I don't. This would be perfect because the bass would be able to swim underneath and I'll be able to go right over top. I might stick some of these smaller stiffer ones in the middle and like I said as it starts to set up then I'll start to put a few more in and I'm actually going to put some more cement on top mix up some mud some more mud I think honestly a little bit smaller is probably the way to go with this definitely going to mix up some more mud a little thinner pour it over top Stick some more of these down on top, and I think it'll be pretty good. And a couple more. And that's the other thing. I think in the next one I'll make it smaller, and I'll make the pieces, these wood blocks, taller, so it can keep them more together. I'm going to cut up some of these in half and stick them on top. So I will show you what I'm done. So that's it, guys. It's done. Just got to let it dry. Set up. And I will un take the boards off. Once it's completely dry, I'll give it 24 to 48 hours completely dry. Then I'll take the form boards off, let it dry another day. And then I'll throw it in the pond. And I'll take you guys with me. So, next one, I'm definitely going to do it a lot smaller, more compact, a little bit higher up on the sides. So that way I can keep all the plastic more together. Um, you can actually, if you had a bandsaw, you can cut these tubes down into little strips and they'll kind of fold over. And you can use less of them. I do not have a bandsaw and I'm not even going to try it with a circular saw because... I like my fingers and thumbs and I want to keep them. So till next time, guys, I love y'all fishing fam. I'll see ya. Well, fishing fam, it's been 24 hours since I poured it and it's some more cement on top. Um, had to put some blocks and some PVC pipe over here to help keep some of the, the arms up, but that's what it's going to look like. I'm about to un, do the wood, take it apart, show you. You definitely don't want the wood to go in the water because of uh, your hooks will definitely get snagged in it. I just had these few pieces of scrap to just kind of keep the arms and stuff up. Now this is, I do plan on making the next ones smaller because this thing is heavy. That's a finished product. 
and we're gonna go throw her out in the pond. I'll see you at the pond. Perfect. That's good structure. You can actually see it. Um, I'm one of the few people that actually fish this pond, so I might actually climb in in the next week and maybe pull it about another four feet out. Because there is bass that come into here, but they don't go into the the tunnel. They usually just stay around these edges. But it's perfect. It's down low enough. In the next year, it'll have some of this grass and stuff growing around it. It'll be perfect. So I'm definitely going to get in next week and pull it probably about three or four feet out that way. But I think it looks good. Looks good in the water. It's going to work good. The next couple of ones I'm going to make are small. And I'm going to put a couple over here. And then a couple more over there. Probably like three or four over there. Probably like three over in here. So, so that's it, guys. Remember, don't get skunked. Be a lunker skunker. And no matter how bad of a day you're having, just take it one cast at a time, one cast at a time. I love you all, fishing fam. I hope you enjoyed this how to build a structure video. Um, comment down below if you like the style of video, if you want to see me do more of this stuff, because I could um, videotape the other structures that I build for the pond, and I have some other things I, I'm doing, like stocking it with some bait and stuff. So uh, if you like that stuff, comment down below. You want to see more of it. Um, remember, like, comment, subscribe, share my videos. Um, get over to that giveaway video. I'm only at like 37, 38 uh, likes. We got to get to 100 likes so I can do that giveaway. So share the heck out of it. And uh, so I can give that stuff away to you guys. Um, until next time, be safe. I love you all, Fishing Fam. See ya.